Today, we are going to talk about Pascal's principle. This principle states that applied pressure is transmitted equally throughout a contained fluid. In order for Pascal's principle to apply, the fluid must be incompressible. One way to demonstrate this is to use a simple system of two syringes, tubing and water. When we apply pressure to push one syringe down, the other syringe goes up. Because the fluid is incompressible, the pressure is transmitted from the first syringe to the second syringe, causing it to fill with water. If you'd notice, it is a lot more difficult to push the larger syringe down. Due to Pascal's principle, the pressure that the fluid experiences at each point in the system is equal. Therefore, the pressure at each syringe is equal. We also know that pressure equals force divided by area, so mathematically, each pressure can be replaced by its respective force over its area. The smaller syringe has a much smaller area, therefore it requires less force to achieve the same pressure. Some of the most common applications of Pascal's principle are hydraulics. Common examples include hydraulic lifts, elevators, and brakes. Hydraulic systems take advantage of smaller areas to lift larger objects. Note that pressure varies with depth, so setting the respective forces over areas equal only works at the same height. If the points of interest are at different heights, you must also take into account the hydrostatic equation, which says that pressure equals height times density times gravity.